Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys some $1 hacks using napkins. So let's jump in to some fall DIYs using napkins. For this first DIY, I'll be using two canvases and these napkins and some Mod Podge. I picked these napkins up at one of our local grocery stores. And this video is simply for inspiration. So find your napkins wherever you want. You can find, I was hoping the Walmart would have some. They didn't, so maybe you can find some at Walmart. I just put Mod Podge over the whole entire canvas and then I just unfolded the napkin entirely. And then I just kind of pressed it down. I've actually never really used napkins in DIYs except one of my recent videos. I want to just test it out and these are actually pretty fun to do. Um, and then I just ended up cutting everything down. I didn't show step by step because I seriously just cut everything down and then added Mod Podge where needed. This little oval galvanized sign is from Dollar Tree and I'm putting it in the center. Once that was done, I had these little wooden words and this orange Arteza paint put it in the center, give thanks, added a burlap bow, and this burlap bow is from Burlap Fabric. I did two of these canvases, and one has the give thanks galvanized piece on it, and the other one is just a really fun piece. I think you can just add to a wall, or you can add it to the back of a shelf. It just kind of gives it some color. These pumpkins, I'm going to be doing two of these with two different napkins. You're going to see here in a sec. These were from Dollar General, I think last year, but I'm so positive you can find something very similar there or at Target. I just kind of want to use some of my stash that I had that I never did anything with last year. Um, so once I painted it white, I think it's actually Ivory by our, our Waverly by Arteza, I was going to say that. Um, white just to cover everything up so you couldn't see through the napkin. This little thankful napkin is from Dollar Tree. And like I said, I just painted the pumpkin white because you can see through this napkin. And I obviously did not want anything, you know, ugly and the print. I didn't want any of that showing through. This is the other pumpkin and I'm using this napkin. This napkin also came from Dollar Tree and I'll be using a lot of the same napkins. This is just kind of giving you some fun inspiration on what you can add to these and what they look like and what you can do. And this is a really inexpensive project because honestly you could get like what, 20, 30 napkins in each pack and do a ton of different crafts with. And then this is what these look like when they are done. You could add a bow, you could add a border, you could do all kinds of different things with this. And then to make these look nice and flush, I actually just ended up sandpapering away from the pumpkin to the napkin and it came off really nice and it didn't tear whatsoever. So I'm loving these pumpkins. I think these are so stinking cute. And I just added them to a tear tray. For these, I'm using three pumpkins. These are from Dollar Tree and the same leaf napkins I found at my local grocery store. Uh, I did end up painting these with the Waverly chalk paint in ivory or white. I can't remember, but you just want to paint them because you do not want to um, see the brown. Maybe you do want to see the brown, so you could totally leave it that color if you chose to. Uh, I did not because I did not want brown showing through. Once this was dry, I just put Mod Podge all around these pumpkins and I thought this was going to be actually a lot harder than what it turned out to be. So Mod Podged it. My hands were sticky. They had Mod Podge all over them. I'm sure there's better ways to do this, maybe with a skewer or something like that. I just washed my hands when I was done. No biggie. And then I just kind of um, just rubbed the pumpkin or rubbed the pumpkin. Yeah, I mean, I guess I did that too. Rub the napkin all the way around and kind of just push the creases in so it actually looked like a pumpkin. And then the bottom, I did not show the bottom, but um, it's definitely not perfect. I just kind of cut the napkin and just Mod Podged it a little bit more. And these turned out really, really good. And like I said, this was probably the easiest project I did because you didn't have a ton of cutting and perfection. Uh, and then I just shoved the stem back in and left the three just like this. I think these are fun. You could definitely use some sort of um, tier tray for these shelves. I have like a fun hutch. You could always stick these on. You could really just put pumpkins everywhere and anywhere when it comes to fall. But I love this print. So you see me use this quite often in this video. That's it. Um, these are the pumpkins. <laughs> 
All right, for this next one, I use these wooden pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I just flipped them over and decided to paint them white. I started off actually using all three of these, and then I just didn't love the looks of these. I just was not happy. I messed up on a couple of them. This, These were like kind of, I think, the first DIY I did with these napkins. They weren't turning out. I didn't put Mod Podge over the top of any of these napkins. I did with one. It just crinkled right up. It looked awful. It was just, these were just like a practice hot mess. So I showed three pumpkins, only actually used one. And I'm using this napkin. This is from Dollar Tree as well. And I think this one's really pretty. And I just really like the leaves. And like I said, you can find napkins anywhere and everywhere. Family Dollar, Dollar General. I mean, like I said, possibilities are endless. And this is just kind of how I did everything. I kind of just cut around and then you're going to see that there is like napkin where I did not want. And then that is where I just use like a little sanding block, a little piece of sandpaper. And I just sanded away from the piece. And like I said, this came out really good without ripping any of the napkin. And I just added another burlap bow to this and that is it for this one. Yes, it might have been cuter with two or three of these, but only one turned out. <laughs> this next DIY, I'll be using this little wood hanging piece. This is from Dollar Tree. Just taking my Mod Podge, Mod Podging all over. And I didn't use a ton of Mod Podge for any of this. I kind of had like a really nice like thin coat because I really didn't know what I was doing. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a professional uh, at all. It's just uh, testing out what works and what doesn't work. And like I said, I didn't add Mod Podge to the top of any of these napkins. I'm sure people do. Maybe one of these DIYs I actually did. Um, you're going to see in a little bit. But I'm just kind of moving everything around cut it, every, you know, all that good stuff. It's all really similar, just using different pieces. This little pumpkin is a pumpkin ornament from Dollar Tree, and I'm just using the orange paint by Arteza once again. And once that was dry, just glued it to the center of this little wood piece. And then I just added a little bow and a little sticker. And that is it. It's, this is kind of funny. I like, I feel like I'm sitting here repeating myself over and over again, which I probably am. But these stickers are super cute. These are from Dollar Tree. And I just added a little pumpkin pie. If you guys have watched my previous fall videos, you guys know I don't like pumpkin pie. But like, look how cute that is. Like, it doesn't matter if you like it or not. You don't have to eat it. You can just look at it and be like, oh, that's really cute. Uh, but that's all I used. And then I threw this one in a tear tray as well. Here I'm using another one of these wood pieces from Dollar Tree and I did not cut the twine off this. I probably should have. Um, I'm probably actually not going to hang this anywhere. I don't normally hang any of these little tiny signs. They usually go in a three tier tray or on a shelf or something like that. I'm going to be using another one of these pumpkin napkins and I'm just cutting it and figuring out if this was actually going to fit. And then I just kind of cut as close to the edges as I can without having a ton of that white. You probably could have done it a little bit better than I did, but you know, we are really just going with the flow. And I put it on this wood piece and I'm like, okay, no, this is definitely, it needs to get painted because like I said, the white is showing on the backside. I was trying to blend it just a little bit better than just the wood piece. I'm really kind of actually a fan of just the plain wood. Uh, I just really like it. I think it looks really pretty all the time. So uh, yeah, that's where I was like, nah, I don't really know if I want to paint this, but we're going to go ahead and paint it anyways, just to make sure that this little napkin looks super cute on here. And then I just Mod Podge the back of this napkin. This is the one I did Mod Podge over the top. I just thought maybe it would blend in a little bit better. Uh, I think this one turned out cute. Like I said, you probably could have cut the napkin down just a little bit, but um, I just love this print. So I think no matter what you use this with, it's going to look super cute. Here's a few more easy ones. These are just the ornaments from Dollar Tree, the pumpkins that I've been using in many DIYs and another Dollar Tree napkin that had the sunflower on it. 
I picked these up and honestly, I was not a huge fan of them. So that's why I did not use them more. But at least you kind of know what is out there and what they sell at the Dollar Tree as well. Because I know people love the good old Dollar Tree. Um, these are the beads that I use to make just a really quick garland. Uh, I found these on Amazon and I will link them below if you guys want to check them out. But these are really great for fall and Christmas DIYs. And I just made a little fun garland. I don't really like to show making garlands because everybody knows you can strand beads through twine. I don't know. It's just one of those things I feel like it's so weird showing. I'm making a garland. Watch me do strand beads. <laughs> This one I'm using four. I think I used five of these pumpkins. I'm pretty sure I used five. I mod podged all these and threw one napkin on top of them. I just unfolded my fun blue leafed napkin, my favorite pattern. So like I told you in the beginning, you're going to see it many times because that's the one I like. And I just did a really light coat, put the napkin on and I like rub this down really nice. So it kind of keeps as many wrinkles out as possible. I didn't show me like pushing it down the entire time because we'd be here for five minutes. Cause I'm like, is that going to stick? Is that going to work? Uh, let me just do that again. Hold on. Wait, let me do that again. And then I just added some normal wood beads, made a bigger garland. You could hang on your mantle or, um, a hutch, your wall, whatever you choose to do with your garlands. But I love this one. I just kind of threw it down in a centerpiece with this cute little chicken in that little chicken or rooster that is from Dollar General. I thought it was cute. This one I showed in a previous DIY video, and that is why I made this video to begin with because I loved this so much. I just used a little frame from Dollar Tree, and then I just mod podged this napkin right to the back of this frame. Yeah, it's a frame. Um, I love the beads on the top. I love that Dollar Tree kind of has some more modern looks to some of their frames, but I loved this one. And like I said, all I did was Mod Podge the napkin, cut it, put it back in the frame, and that was it. And yeah, that's why I wanted this entire video. I thought it'd be super fun to try different ways, and I rarely do things like this on my channel. So I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's just give it a go. Let's give it a try. And um, I actually really liked these. And this video took no time. I know a lot of people say that they love crafting. Some of it just takes forever. These do not take a ton of time at all. But you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed my DIY napkin fall decor video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I'd love if you consider sticking around and subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.